Hey, I'm Dennis, and in this brief tutorial, I will show you how to use Google Sheets to update the parameters of your units inside of RFIS Explorer. After this tutorial, you and your clients will be able to change the data for all units at runtime from outside the engine. Thus, you will avoid packaging your application after making a change. For example, your client can update the pricing of a unit depending on the current market situation on his own. I will also show you how to add an additional filtering parameter for your units. In order to keep things short, I prepared most of the blueprints in advance. You will only need to set up the project, enable the plugin, and replace the old blueprints with the new ones. So let's start by setting up a new RFIS Explorer project. Click on Create Project and then rename your project. Keep in mind to avoid using special characters. Click Create. and open up your project. The next step is to enable the Runtime Data Table plugin and then to restart your project. Next, download the realistic expansion and unzip it. Then, right-click on your content folder and click on Show in Explorer in order to open up your project directory. Copy the new content folder and paste it on top of your existing one. Now you should be able to find the level Realistic 01 inside of your Maps folder. The next step is to download and unzip the new blueprints we prepared in at once. Locate the content folder and copy it over to your project folder, just like we did with the Realistic expansion. I already did that in my project, so I don't click on paste. You now need to create a copy of the Google Sheets file, which we provided with this tutorial. This will allow you to change it according to your preferences. So open up the Google Sheets template. In the top left, click on File and then make a copy. Choose a folder, rename the file properly, and click on Make a copy. Once you opened up your new file, click Share at the top right corner, and then set access type to anyone with the link. Finally, click Copy link. We will use it in the next step. You might have an online data table in your project, which you already have modified. It's also possible to turn that one into a Google Sheets file. Just right-click on the data table asset and choose Export as CSV. Once exported, you can upload it to your drive and open it with Google Sheets. The final step is to inject the Google Sheets link into our project. Therefore, open up the Player Controller BP Explorer PC. Look for the string variable called InSheet URL and insert your Google Sheets link as the default value. So, that's it. Your units should now be able to read the values from your Google Sheets file.
before I finish this tutorial, I want to give you a quick overview on how the blueprints are structured and how they communicate with each other. The communication with Google Sheets happens inside the Explorer Player Controller. At begin play, the CSV is loaded. Then, we pass that information to all the POIs by using a blueprint interface called BPI CSV. BPPY, or in other words, the units, are listening and fire an event once that call is made. Depending on the assigned row name, they extract the values and overwrite the struct POI filter. You can easily expand the struct with more variables. For example, I will add a new string variable called type, which I want to display in the info widget once I select the unit. So let's open up POI filter struct and add our variable. Set the type to string and assign a default value. We repeat that same process inside Google Sheets. Back inside the Unreal Engine, open BPPOI and duplicate the following node. Then connect the CSV info and row key pins and rename your column so it matches the new Google Sheets column. Let's open the graph of the BP info widget. Inside the function update text, find the format text node and add a new paragraph. You create a new pin by changing the text in between the curly brackets. This one you can assign to the new output pin of the filter struct. Now let's hit play and check the outcome. As you can see, the project reads the values from the Google Sheets file properly. Also, our new parameter called type is working as intended. I hope this tutorial was somehow helpful. Thank you very much for your time.